Okay, I'm going to try and fly Charlie in the snow. Their back feathers are pretty waterproof, so um, she's really not that uh, wet. It's been snowing all day. So let's see if we can do this. Are we on? Yep. Come here. Come on up. Up. She's pretty waterproof. She can fly fine. So we're going to go for a snow one. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, you little waddles. What a good girl. What a good girl. She's definitely not as keen today. This is my weight sign for her. She may come up anyway. Um, she's flying fine. Her feathers are dry. They're very waterproof. She's a little unsure of herself. She's slightly lower weight. She was 1350 grams instead of 1360 like two days ago. Um, but I wanted to see what she'd do out here. And at least she went down a little bit. So I'll keep doing what I was doing. I can't think of anything else to say. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, do I have more pieces? 
I might be out. I have to do the work. Ready? Hello. Good. pieces. That didn't go so well. <laughs> she made a good, here, you wanna get down? Get up. She made a good attempt, but, um, well, she did a really good attempt, but she took the food out of my hand, which could have resulted in a lost bird if she wasn't attached. But I got her back. Easy. All right, I put Charlie back in her muse. Um, I bring her to an indoor, like a slightly warmer area um, when it's below 20 degrees. It's kind of been floating about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, it was 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's been floating around freezing all day and it's been snowing all day. It's supposed to snow really hard tonight, um, but it's not going below the 30s. These are animals that would be wild in this area. Uh, so they would be out in this weather. I wanna make it comfortable for them, um, her. <laughs> Also, she has that wonky leg, so it's a little harder for her to pull the good leg up into her feathers for warmth because she can't really stand on the other one. She can sink down and cover them. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave her out today. I'll show you how I set up the pen. And then tomorrow night, she's gonna have to come in. So I tried to get her on camera and you can't see her through the bars. There is poop on this, there's feathers on this. I do clean it, it gets like this very quickly. Um, it's due for another cleaning, but it's freezing out. So I'm gonna, she goes in here at night on her own, but I'm gonna close the door tonight so that she can't come out into the snow tomorrow. So this will keep her much more um, wind blocked. I'm gonna go around the side and see if I can get her. Okay, I just barely got her. Um, again, there's poop, there's feathers. This is a working shelter, okay? Um, this is not insulated but it is blocking the wind from like two and a half sides. So she's got a nice, yeah, there you are. Um, she's got a nice, you know, corner where she can shelter out of the snow, out of the wind. She's got many different perching options in here and they're all padded and built specifically for her wonky feet. This shelter, it's called the Mew or Muse or, you know, um, Mew. Uh, I have two latches for it. One of them I will put a lock on so that, um, actually, I forgot that I had this clippy thing. Oh, is it frozen? Okay, I'm gonna get a clippy thing just to make sure she doesn't accidentally, I don't know, somehow get one of these open. Okay, I got a clip. All right, so she can't really get out of here. She's not going to anyway, but just in case, I'm gonna clip it shut. Can I see you? I cannot. I'm gonna make a video about um, the requirements for hawk housing and the inspection sheet that you have to pass in order to become a falconer. Uh, I have a bike lock for this. Always lock your raptors. So they can't get out, and most importantly, so people can't get in. Uh, especially if you're online at all, lock your raptors. All right, so I just put Charlie away after her little snow flight. That went really well. Uh, we did go flying, free flying on snow covered ground before, but it wasn't actively snowing. Um, I messed up that time and 
hadn't gotten her used to that. It was just melted enough that it had like that glassy sheen over the top of it. So if she landed on it, it was weird. It was gonna like break through. Uh, it totally freaked her out. She flew in the opposite direction from me. I was frantic trying to get her down. Thought I lost her. Couldn't trek fast enough through the snow. <laughs> but I finally thought I saw her and tossed the lure and she came down, hallelujah. Um, but that was my fault. And that's partly why I wanted to fly her in the snow today, just to get her used to it. Unfortunately, usually the worst weather, like the worst weather for the human is the best weather to fly your hawk <laughs> or falcon or whatever you have. When the cloud cover is low, they're not gonna wanna go up and soar. So it helps keep them down. Um, there's a disadvantages to it. Some animals will just hide, you know, it's a little harder to hunt something, but their outer feathers are very waterproof. And even though it's been snowing all day, um, it just rolls right off of her, you know, whether it's melted or not. It's gonna snow a lot harder. Um, so let me turn you and show you her little shelter. I made a little video about bringing her in for the winter. <laughs> this is a thermometer um, gauge that beams into my house so I can see what temperature it is out here. Um, it is always warmer in here than it is outside. This is completely covered from the wind four walls around. And then when it gets below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, whether that's wind chill or actual temperature, I bring her in and put her in this big kennel here. Um, I'm gonna have a video coming out about it. I had to make sure it was the right size and everything, but it's not a hawk kennel. We have to improvise as falconers. We have to build a lot of the stuff. So first thing I need to do is put newspaper down in it. This is just for the poop. It's not to absorb it, it's to block it from staining the entire kennel. All right, I think that's good for now. Um, if there's two nights in a row, which I think there's going to be, um, I can just quick change the newspaper rather than try to bring water out in a freezing temperature and like wash it, because I have to hose it out. Um, so this just kind of helps me to at least pick up the stuff that's on the bottom. Um, there's gonna be poop on the sides too. That's just what hawks do. All right, like I said, I have a video coming out about this situation, um, but I don't know if it's coming out before this one or not. Uh, probably not, who knows? Um, these are never posted in order. <laughs> I try, but it's impossible. So I cut this down specifically to fit in here. Uh, it's the right height so that she's not ducking down the whole time. She has full range. She can't open her wings fully, but this is just meant for overnight when they're, you know, sleeping anyway, so it's fine. Um, it's tall enough also so that her tail feathers don't hit this way. <laughs> um, so it has to be clear on both sides. I'm gonna pull the perch forward a little bit because I do have a heat light that I can put on. I have tested it thoroughly. It does not melt the plastic, so don't worry about that. Um, I've, I've made sure that it's safe, um, but that way she has a little bit of a temperature gradient in here to sleep in. It's a few degrees warmer up here than it is in the back. We don't wanna mess up their biology by bringing them from 20 degree temperature Fahrenheit to like 70 degree Fahrenheit in the house. So this is a good middle ground. Uh, I monitor the temperature and she has the heat light to kind of, you know, gather some heat if she needs to. So she'll be a lot more comfortable for the night. Um, I've had her in here during the day. I'll come out and put a light on for her if it's really bad. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do today. She was, I don't know if you could hear me when I was out um, and about. She was 1350 grams today. I have a video about flying weight um, which explains why we weigh them and like what our goals are for weighing them. Um, I want her down below 1250. It's hard when it's really freezing out and you don't want to not feed them enough and have them be freezing because they, they burn more calories when it's cold. So it's hard to drop their weight when you know you also want them to have enough calories to not freeze to death. So it's down 10 grams from two days ago. That's fine, uh, and I'll, I'll keep going down. We'll see, I, I wanna get her out. Like she's ready 
to free fly. But if she's too high a weight, she's likely to just fly away. And I'm not having that happen again. So uh, thanks for watching. This was kind of fun in the snow. Um, and I uh, will see you in the next one. Oh, one more thing. I made sure that her good foot had plenty of topical ointment on it. This is just a triple antibiotic ointment. Um, when she's, you know, lopsided, it's similar to a horse, like they need their equal feet to be completely healthy. So the good foot tends to get pressure sores on it. Um, there's a condition called bumble foot that I haven't talked about yet, but she kind of constantly has it and I constantly have to monitor it and treat it. Um, that's just because of the way her feet are. Uh, we do have a vet and everything, you know, like I have used to rehab animals too, so I'm very familiar with this kind of stuff. Um, in the winter, it tends to get a little worse. I think because it's like drier and it's just a little more rough on her feet or something. But um, winter, I definitely, definitely check it, make sure there's ointment on it. Um, she has a little bit of bumble foot under there on like the side over here where she's pushed over. So it makes sense, but it's not bad. <clears throat> and um, so I just made sure she was loaded up with this. It's hard to put medication on the bottom of a bird's foot when they're always on it, but I just kind of get it all over in there and um, she'll be resting tonight anyway. So hopefully some will stick and um, that'll help. She soaks her own feet in the summer and that's helpful because I can put stuff in it to help the bumblefoot, but not in the winter time. So, all right, <laughs> see you soon, bye. Okay, I'd say we got some snow. Hopefully you can hear me over the truck. I hear you, I can't see you. It's not, um, there's a little something in the air. I don't know if it's, it's not really snowing anymore though. Um, I think the worst of it has come down. Still gonna bring her in tonight. We've got a heavy duty bike lock on it. It's not just a, a simple thing. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi. I can't see her. Okay. Hey, babe. Hey. Oh, what did I drop? I dropped something. The clip. What, where did it go? Because I'll probably never find it again. Hi, cutie. You gonna come out and play? Let me back up and not trip over anything. I'm gonna wipe her perches off so she's not sitting on as much snow. I am gonna fall over. Whew. Where are you gonna go first? What's this stuff? <laughs> Yeah. Where you want to go? She's kind of got a little roof here with the leaves I haven't cleared off yet. Let's shake that down before you come out. And then I gotta fix your door and find that clip. What a good girl. I'm just checking everything out. What's up there? Checking out her surroundings before she comes out. There's also no wind right now, uh, so I'm gonna let her out a little bit and then we're gonna bring her inside tonight. It's gonna be 18 or so degrees Fahrenheit, so she'll be coming in. You're so cute! <laughs> Alright, so she's fine. Uh, we'll carry on like normal. This is bad. Oh shoot, I almost fell over a log. Okay. Ah, it started before I can get it on again. Holy crap, okay. Whoa, that's the neutral side. I can't even see right now. <laughs> They're not gonna be able to see anything and get up there. Um, they can get up there. I'll do that over. I cannot see anything right now. Whew. Okay, we are very crooked. Now we're very crooked the other way.
had um a, what is this called? One more thing, I <laughs> tired. I'm tired now. 